Okay, today I'm going to be cooking a uh, some pulled pork, and this is a eight pound uh, Boston butt with the bone in. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it seasoned while the smoker's warming up. And of course, I'm using Uncle Tim's T13 on it, and uh, just put a lot of it on here because this is a big hunk of meat, and it can take it. And if you want to get yourself some T13, you can get it on my website, UncleTimsFarm.com. And also hat, carnivore hat, carnivore shirt. I've got lots of other hats and shirts on there as well. I like to cook mine with the fat cap up. It just seems to me to make it uh, more moist and tender doing it that way. And then I need to go grab my knife. I'll be back. Okay, I got my knife and what I like to do is poke all the way down through that, the fat cap into the meat, just punch holes all over in it. Now, I don't know if it really makes a difference or not, but it, to me it seems like it helps the fat to get down into that meat better as this fat renders during the cook and it can seep down through all these holes and get into the center of the meat, make it more moist and flavorful. And that's it. This is ready to go in the smoker once it gets heated up. Okay, so the smokers up to temp are pretty close, close enough, close enough to being up to temp. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pork shoulder loaded in there and let her smoke. Okay, it's the uh, pork shoulder is up to 160 degrees. I'm gonna take a look at it and see if it's time to wrap it yet or not. Ooh. I'll get all fogged up. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I'll give it a check here and see, but it looks to me like it's ready to be wrapped. Okay, the pork shoulder is ready to come out and be wrapped. It's reached the internal temperature of 165. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and uh, wrap it up, stick it back in there until it's done. I like to put my pork shoulder in a foil container like this because it catch then it can catch all the juice, all the drippings. 
that helps keep it moist when it comes after I pull it and serve it and keep it right there in the foil container. And just let it soak in the fat and all the drippings. Okay, the pork shoulder is up to temp, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out now and let it rest for a couple hours and then I'll go ahead and pull it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. You can see it's got really good bark on it. It, it looks like it is going to be fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice and clean. Yeah. It's cooked just right. It's been resting for several hours. And, ooh, that looks good. Making this for some neighbors. They, the wife had surgery recently, and so some of us are just helping out, giving them an occasional meal. And so I smoked up this shoulder for them. And I'll probably do up some baked beans and give them some buns to go along with it. But mmm, this smells delicious. Looks looks good. Nice and smoky. Nice smoky smell. Just falls apart. No, I just I like to do it in these deep pans because it catches all the juices and you can just mix it up and what oh, keeps it very moist and has lots and lots of flavor. Set aside a little a couple little pieces to have a taste. And I leave the fat and everything in here and just mix it all in. And then I always add a little more T13 because you can never have too much T13. Get another glove here. Go ahead and mix that seasoning in. Oops, some of that escaped. is going to be delicious. We better try some. Mm. Yep. That is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and get this cooled down and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and reheat it and get it delivered to the neighbors. Thanks for watching.